What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Ileana and if you're already part of this wonderful family, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and to support. By the title of today's video, you guys can guess it. We are going to be trying out the famous, the viral TikTok hack. Now, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. Now, you guys, I have been on the hunt for this for such a long time. And I finally found it. So before jumping into today's video, as always, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so you guys are notified every single time that I upload because you guys don't want to miss a single upload. Make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado, let's jump into a foundation review. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by prepping my skin today and I'm gonna be using my Pore Perfecting Primer from Revolution. I have really been loving this stuff. I already went ahead and did my skincare, I moisturized, I did everything else. So meanwhile, I'm prepping this. I just kind of wanted to talk with you guys. Um, now this foundation, I literally have been on the hunt for quite some time. So I had seen it literally everywhere. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere everyone was talking about this foundation so i'm not gonna lie i wasn't like oh my god i absolutely need to go out and buy this right now because the last tiktok hack that i tried was actually not the way i planned it to so i was like mm, is this one of those overhyped things where it's not gonna work out for me the fact that i couldn't get my hands on it made me want it even more so i finally got one when target actually restocked it's in the shade 120 which is vanilla now i don't know if this is gonna match me but we're just gonna have to go with it this was the only shade they had okay so let's go ahead and talk a little bit of the foundation now this is the 24 hour fresh wear infallible foundation in a powder from l'oreal and it does claim it is waterproof sweat and heat proof it doesn't transfer it controls shine and suitable for oily skin so the foundation does come in 16 shades so the one that I did get was vanilla. So this is what the shade looks like. So I'm really hoping that this matches. It looks like it's going to be a little bit warm, but we'll see. Okay, so the packaging, it does come in this like little standard um, package. You can see the color right through, which I love because you can actually get to see what the shade is immediately off the bat from the packaging. And it does have a little mirror right here, which is awesome because you can go ahead and apply it just as you know you normally would and you can see what you're doing. It does come with a little sponge which reminds me back in the day this is what this reminds me but everyone that I have seen on TikTok that has been using it has been using this little sponge so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so this does retail for $14.99 so that is a little price for drugstore so this little foundation does cost $15 now I think at Target I did get it for like $11.99 12 bucks something like that so if you go to L'Oreal or Ulta it is a little bit higher in price point but it does range from like $12 to $15 only thing that's a little concerning for me that I'm kind of concerned about is that everybody that I have seen apply this foundation doesn't necessarily conceal their under eyes because it's a powder so you can't really go in with like a liquid on top of a powder so I'm going to do things a little bit different I'm actually going to conceal underneath of the powder set it and then we're going to throw the powder on top because girl I need to conceal these bags like there's no way we're gonna go around not concealing these bags so I'm gonna start off by taking my favorite concealers at the moment besides the elf camel concealer the pretty fresh um, color pop concealers okay so we are going to take a little bit in 45 W and I'm gonna start off concealing underneath the eyes like I normally would now usually obviously I would put this over my foundation but again because it is a powder I don't want to put liquid over a powder so I just kind of want to conceal the under eye areas okay now with a lighter shade this is actually fair 15 W this is gonna just really brighten up that under eye area which is what I like I like a really really bright under eye and I'm just gonna kind of focus it right here where I have like the super deep like dark circles now everybody that I have seen that has been using this powder has not been concealing and for me not concealing my under eyes is like I can't do it okay so I'm gonna take the little sponge. I'm gonna try applying it with the sponge. I'm gonna dip into the foundation here. Okay, so it did grab a nice amount. All right, so we're gonna bring you guys in so you guys can really see what I'm doing to my face. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying on this side and just like one. Okay. Maybe I have to set the under eye. Did I like mess up already? 
I'm completely lost as to what I have to do because I have to set the under eye area. It was getting a little blotchy right off the bat, so I mean, I'm a little lost. I don't know how people are doing this without setting, without concealing their under eye. I really is this already a fail? It might be. <laughs> to be honest, it does have a little bit of a fragrance. Ooh, do you guys see that around my lips? How about we wipe the lip gloss off? This is not gonna work. I'm trying so hard to make it work. Okay. Let's grab my e.l.f. sponge, swirl it in there, and start. This is a dry sponge, by the way. And just start blending it in. Like so. Actually, a lot better than that little sponge. Will we save this? I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and apply it where we did with the first layer, which I didn't like with that little sponge. That little sponge was just not doing it for me. So I'm applying this with a dry e.l.f. sponge. And we're just gonna, this is actually like a dead on good match for me, shade wise. Blend it down, blend it in between the nose. So I think we, I think we saved it, you guys. I think we saved it. Okay, so this is the side with no foundation. I just have my concealer underneath the eyes. You can see like the pigment a little bit underneath here. Um, I do have a lot of redness, which you can tell, but this is the side with the foundation on. So I was very, very nervous, you guys. I was freaking out in the middle of this video because you guys saw what was happening around here. Like I was freaking out, but looking in the mirror, this looks very, very smooth on the skin. And it honestly feels like I have nothing on my skin. And it's not transferring at all. Like this, I'm a little mind blown. I was really, really scared at first because you guys saw what was happening to the skin. But actually, you know, applying it with a little thingy thingy, the little sponge thingy that came inside the extra foundation was a no for me. Like that thing did not work. It was just coming off blotchy. It, I didn't like it. So I went in with a dry elf sponge and I actually really like the coverage that it provided. It evened out everything. It has really great coverage. You can still see my freckles a little bit right there. But other than that, I actually really like the way it looks. It feels flawless. It feels like I have nothing on the skin. It feels like I literally have nothing on my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side side now and we are gonna start blending this into this side oh yeah see that immediately like with this sponge it feels really nice I wonder how it would look if I did it with like a brush but for now I don't want to mess with it because we already messed with it at the beginning and I am hoping that this is gonna work now so this is weird like it's weird to think that I don't have to set my face after putting this on because it is a powder so you can just, you know, bronze and everything as you go. Now I did lift off a little bit of my concealer, I will say that, but I do have a banana powder that I'm going to go in with so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so this is what it looks like completely on. This is like one layer, I guess. I don't know how you would really describe it, but what I do want to see is if it will cover up my freckles right here. Do you guys see that? It completely covered them up. There's one up here. I don't want to get too close to where I placed the concealer, but I mean, it's looking good. Okay, so really quick, I did apply my lips so we can start to see the whole look kind of come together. I'm gonna be going in with some bronzer. I'm taking my Girlactic um, Matte Bronzer. This is in Cabo. Because this is more of a mattifying kind of foundation, I wanna go in with a mattifying bronzer as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna kind of just see how this blends together. Ooh, that kind of like melted together. That looks really, really nice. I like that. Do you guys see that? It feels like it melted together, like, very seamlessly. I was honestly so scared, you guys. Like, at the very beginning, I thought this was going to be a huge flop. I really did because, I mean, you guys, you guys saw the train <laughs> we were on. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking my little brush and kind of just contouring the nose a little bit. 
Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my banana powder from Ofra. I'm gonna take that right underneath the eyes a little bit and just kind of run a little bit like right underneath the eyes to brighten that up. We're gonna also use this to kind of carve this part out a little bit more. Okay, so so far so good. I really like the way that everything is looking with the powders. It's really blending like very, very nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Moon Prism palette. This is my absolute favorite blush palette right now. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of these pinky shades. I used to be all about peach blushes, but lately it's just really been about the pink. So I'm gonna see how this blends with the powder foundation. Ooh. Okay, so this is coming out a lot better than I thought it would at the very beginning of this video. You guys saw we were a little bit on a train wreck there, but we're back on board. I like to really go in with my blush. Blush has, there's just something about blush lately that I've really been into. Like, I literally place blush all over my face. On my nose, on the cheeks, everywhere. Okay, so the last powder I do want to place on my face is some highlight. I'm going to be going in with the Milani. This is the Strobe Light in the color Afterglow. This, this is like one of the most beautiful highlights in the world and I absolutely love it. It literally blends like butter. So the way that everything has been looking so far, I feel like this would look very, very nice with it because this formula is very like buttery and I feel like on this... Ooh. Everything is honestly blending so nice. Like, I am very shocked at this foundation right now. You guys, this looks so good right now. Like, I might be obsessed with this a little bit. Let me let me actually take a good look. Do you guys see that? Okay, I, I need to bring you guys in. Okay, I want you guys to take a look at this and tell me that this does not have a beautiful buttery blend. Like everything literally blended together so nicely, you guys. Like look at this. This is what the finished result looks like. You guys saw me blend all of my powders together. You guys saw me blend everything together and it literally melted into the skin with this foundation. Now, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to keep it 100% real. When I first started using this today, I literally thought, this was like the worst mistake ever so one thing that i do want to kind of see can i use this to kind of carve this out a little bit right here oh i can do you guys see that see how i kind of carve that out let's do it in the other side Let, let's talk about this foundation. Let's talk about this foundation. So this foundation did retail for $11.99, like I said, but on L'Oreal's website, it does retail for $14.99. Is this a TikTok hack or is it whack? I'm not gonna lie, when we first started doing the video and I, when I first started applying, I honestly thought this was gonna be a total fail. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I was looking at my face and I was like, <laughs> But I mean, you guys saw everything come together. You guys saw me blend everything together. I gave it a chance. One thing that I will say is that the little sponge that it comes with didn't work for me. Now I have been seeing people on TikTok and people's YouTube reviews and they've been using the sponge perfectly fine, which is awesome. But for me personally, it didn't work with the sponge. Now when I took my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, I used it dry, it's not even wet. I used it dry and all I did was just kind of press it into the powder, put it on my face and just kind of dragged it along my face, used it kind of like a paintbrush and it worked beautifully like it looks so good on the skin and you guys saw me blend my bronzer you guys saw me blend the blush do the little nose contour you guys saw me do the highlight and everything literally blended together so seamlessly so buttery and i am very obsessed with the way that this is looking right now and the best part is you guys it feels like i have nothing on my face like it literally feels like there's nothing you guys can see there's nothing on my hands. My hands look so weird without nails, by the way. I'm letting my nails breathe right now, but that's besides the point. <laughs> now I see why people are selling this bad boy out, and it's so crazy and mind-blowing, the power of social media, how one person can literally go on to TikTok, claim that this is like a life-changing thing, and literally sell it out in stores. I mean, I don't honestly know who was the originator, who honestly created the whole TikTok hack. I really do not know, honestly, because obviously it was not me. But the power of social media, guys, is crazy. But do I think that this is worth it? I totally 
totally think that this is worth it. It came out beautiful. I love the way that it looks. And honestly, if you guys can get your hands on it, I totally would because it looks beautiful. This is definitely something that I would totally do, especially in the summer because it feels so lightweight and it feels like you have nothing on the skin. I feel like if you're going to go and you know, you want some coverage on the skin, I mean, this has great coverage, but if you want something that's going to feel very, very light on your face, because sometimes I know that in summertime, I don't like to wear liquid foundations on my face because it just feels like it's a lot. I'm very, very surprised with the way that this came out um, and I'm very excited to keep using it. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel before leaving today. And again, if you guys can get your hands on this foundation, I definitely recommend it. It feels great. For future reference, I do have dry skin. I will leave all of the details of the other makeup that I am using on my face, whether it's the eyes, the lashes, everything else. I will leave it down in the description box below. So I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.